the veggie fed anus of the YouTube world, Vegan Gains. If you don't know who this piece of shit is, it's this fucking bloke. And when I see babies in a stroller, especially when they're crying, I just want to put my foot through the fucking thing and step on it until it's nothing but blood and pulp. Can you calm the fuck down? So it's a good opportunity to try and kill me. So if you think you have the fucking guts, come to the fucking Toronto Veg Fest. Oh uh, yeah, knock down a veggie fest champ. So, don't get on my bad side, make some vegan gains, and be nice to animals, or I'll kill you. My god, my poor man! What have those veggies done to your poor little brain? Hello everyone, for those of you who don't know Isaac Butterfield, he calls himself a comedian, but what I found from watching his content is he's not particularly funny. He challenged me to a cage fight. I'd love to beat your fucking face in. He has no arguments of his own, he has no way of refuting the the ethical principles of veganism. Uh, we've launched a new podcast. Yeah, it's called uh, Cancel Me Now. Vegan Games. I'd love to have you on as a guest. So then, what's your justification for killing animals? They're delicious. I've never killed an animal. They're deli I've never killed one personally, I would never but I've eaten. Well, I've eaten you fucking heaps of them. You pay for them to be killed, which I would say is essentially the same thing. Well, they're delicious. So this is the problem with arguing studies, is because you there are so many that point in one direction no, and another. No, it, the problem it, with arguing it, studies it is. is you have to have smart people arguing with them, and the intelligence is only coming from one side in this discussion. Humans are a great food source. They taste like pig. How do you know? Yeah, how do you know? <laughs> how do you know? <laughs> you pig taste yeah, like? pig or human, yeah. which one? Yeah, we know what you're up huh? to, you little bastard. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just eating a steak. Ow. Hey, Red, who cooked this? Right, but I'm asking you to point out a morally substantive difference. Yes, Mr. Vegan Gaines, I can't think of a morally substantive reason because I can't even fucking pronounce it. Yeah, I was wondering, are you gay? <laughs> I don't see a morally substantive difference between being gay and straight. <laughs> oh, he smiled! He smiled! Yes, he smiled! Why are you such a Gentlemen, welcome to the best bit of my podcast. Cancel me now with the <laughs> hilariously horrifying vegan gains. My arch nemesis. This man is the biggest asshole to ever live, and I got to talk to him. You have threatened a lot of people. You, like you, you wanted to like. Let's talk about the big fight between me and you. Why? Why was that your first response that you wanted to do? Like, I come from a part of the world in Australia where like fighting is like something you do when you genuinely hate a person and you want to hurt them beyond you know any repair or, or beyond recognition of what they used to look like. And it seems to me that. I made a video about you, you make a video about me, and then you go straight to a fight. Like, it does come across, like, so childish that it is hilarious to look at. Like, people look at you when you say that and just go, are you the full fucking quid? <clears throat> well, I challenged you to an MMA match. Um, I know, I it's know. It's a little different yeah. than a fight. It's not like a street fight. Um, I don't see the issue with that. Uh, I don't see that as any different than, I don't know, challenging somebody to a race or a game of basketball. But I think if uh, you if you get angry at me and you Yeah, well, I want to you, hit you. Yeah. But That's you, why I this, challenged you to a fight. Yeah, that makes sense. But even if you said, let's have a race to work out who's the bigger man or who's correct, that still sounds like a three-year-old is you know, in this conversation. No. So I, yes. I might yes, be definitely. misremembering, but I'm pretty sure I actually tried to get in contact with you for a debate when you made your first kind of video about me. Uh, after that, I think you made a second response or something. And then um, I was kind of fed up with your nonsense. And yeah, I just wanted to fight you. Boy, <laughs> that's basically it. So how do you feel about me now? Um, still don't like you. Yeah. I, I, I asked my audience a question. Um, I said, what question would you like to ask vegan gains? And there was a lot of responses. 
But the first response, well, the number one response, the most highly voted response was, why are you such a <clears throat> Well, I think everybody else is a bigger <laughs> so. <laughs> That's a good response. I like that. You're a very angry person. That's the way you come off anyway. I, I don't think you're like that in the majority of your life, but you'd certainly come off as a very aggressive individual. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty angry. I've had really severe anger issues before. Um, I've calmed down a lot. But no, I can be, I can pretty, I can be pretty in your face in real life. What was, um, what were your anger issues before? What happened? Oh, so, um, I just have insane, extreme anger outbursts where I'd like punch holes in the wall, you know, shit like that. Like as um, a child or as an adult? Uh, all my life. So, um, it was just extremely explosive anger that I just couldn't control. Uh, like you literally feel like you're going to explode. Um, it's, it's under control now where I don't get that insane level, level of anger. Um, it took a bit of therapy, uh, just took a bit of practice as well. Just mm. calming myself down. So what, what do you do yeah. to calm yourself down? Uh, I just try to put myself out of the situation. So, you know, you can kind of get inside your own head a little too much and work yourself up. And I just try to think of myself as like a third person. And yeah, I kind of have to visualize myself out of the situation and look at the big picture. So then what's your justification for killing animals? They're delicious. I've never killed an animal. They're deli I've never killed one personally, I would never but I've, do eat, that. Well, I've eaten fucking pay, heaps of them. You pay for them to be killed, which I would say is essentially the same thing. Well, they're delicious. That would be my own. I just had a very nice steak. <clears throat> Well, in doing so, you're committing an immoral act that's similar to, say, killing a mentally Don't you say human. Oh, fuck, you cannot keep not. saying human. <laughs> well, you agree. When you mention something like intelligence, and then I, I bring up the hypothetical yeah, but of the mentally cow, disabled Cows person, are not people. You're against cows are, that. Cows are not people. Uh, I don't know. <clears throat> cows are not people. Like, uh, again, Do you know that cows are not people? Run the hype, like when I asked you, okay, is it okay to kill something as long as it's not human? You've said yes. no. We've agreed we can't think of a reason why there's a moral reason, but we can agree that so cows are not people. Recognize, right. So then you do recognize you're committing an immoral act that's comparable to killing a mentally disabled person. Do you no. realize that humans and cows are different? Yes, they're not the same. Uh, we've already been over that. Like, yeah, cows have spots. They're bigger than us. They've got um, udders. Yeah, I realize udders. they're- So a cow is not a mentally disabled person. So killing one and they're not, it's not like killing the same thing at all. If I brought you cornflakes um, no, and you is. wanted Cocoa well, Pops, not. What? No, again. Okay. Right. No, no, no. Everyone, no. Now, now, I, now, now I have to- Can you explain to me the difference? Can you explain to me the difference between no, we fucking can't. mentally disabled person? We told person? you this. We fucking can't. It's if you just, can't, then how can you claim it's different? The difference is they're just not the same. That is it's the just difference. what we do. They're not there doesn't the same need thing. to be a study. Yeah, there doesn't need to be an article written on it. <coughs> the difference is they are not. Right. Well, I, again, I can find <laughs> two people who aren't the same. Yeah, but like well, species, two different species. Who aren't the same. Yeah, but can we say like human spe like the human being species, right? We can all agree that that's the same, right? Even though I know you're saying black, white, blah, 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 blah. We're all human beings, yes. So the human genome. So is human one beings side. are just these are no, just no, 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 no. I can, can define human. Oh, here we go. We can get back to we, we can get back to definitions now. Okay, cool, cool, okay, cool, okay, cool, cool, cool. So it's like, but it, yeah, okay, no worries. Well, Open. look, uh, the Nazis viewed Jews as completely different species. Are you saying um, you're a Nazi? I, I mean, are you a Nazi? No. You're no, not a Nazi. So, Are you a Nazi sympathizer? So, no. So <laughs> these so these are just words. I, I mean... They, I mean, everything's again, just words. I want to hear, I want to hear a morally substantial. I know you difference. do. You've said I that. I still haven't been able to... You've said that. I said yeah, you're not allowed to say the word morally substantive. All right, you need to get a beer or something and yeah. drink every time you say the word morally substantive. It'd be a good drinking game. <laughs> if you're listening to this podcast, every time yeah. Mr. Gaines says morally substantive, difference. you've got to have a you drink. you got a skull. You'd be fucking hammered. Is it um? Is it tiring putting so much thought into all this stuff? Because these, these are out. things that I've no. never ever. Because ever, like, and I think this no, is why but, we struggle um, with these arguments is because like I just couldn't. Give I would have never. Fuck. I would have never given two thoughts to no, any of this not even without once. us having this conversation. Not even once. I think we are so behind this argument because it's just like it's obviously who, things you've thought of a lot. And who cares? Yeah, fuck them. If you can't, if you're a cow and you can't defend yourself, 
Fuck you. <clears throat> Fuck you. Yeah. So if we were to find a human that had similar characteristics to a cow, like lack of intelligence, you'd be fine with killing that human? If it was a cow, yes. No, I, I reckon you're the only bloke that would have ever thought of that comparison. But you can't like, take insane. everything back to like. What if you what if you spray some ants that are in your kitchen? Would you spray humans? Like it's not an argument. So no, the reason why it's okay to spray ants in your kitchen is because they are violating your rights. They're what if a cow's in your? Oh, it's like it's like in America when someone breaks into your house. You're like, I was standing my ground, and you just get to shoot them. Like <laughs> defending the ants your family. Are in your house. You're like, I'm standing my ground, and you just. Well, if there's well, yeah, they are invading, and if the only practical <laughs> way to get rid of them is to kill them, then yeah, that's fine. So you kill ants. <laughs> Yeah. So you're full of shit. Um, <laughs> you're I not a vegan. needed to kill ants. No, I was standing my ground. Day. They were in my kitchen. What if a cow's in my kitchen? What if for some reason there's a cow in my kitchen? Can I kill it and eat it? Uh, if the only way to get rid of it is to use lethal force, then sure. Lethal like, force? But <laughs> well, there we go. We found a way it around It would be veganism. the same if it were a human being. Like, if the only way to remove <laughs> a human being from your property is to use lethal force, then it's fine. You know, there's other ways to look at it rather than comparing animals to humans every single time because they're just not the same. I think well, that's. A, I don't that's see. A f- well, they. We certainly aren't the same, but I don't see a morally substantive difference that would justify that sort of difference in treatment. I think the argument is they're just not the same. Uh, okay. It's why well, we don't have. It's why we don't have sex. It's why we don't have sex with animals. Like it's why you mate with. You know what I mean? Like we're not. Okay. The same. Well, we're not the same. Uh, you know, we have different level of intelligence. You have a bigger beard. Um, we're different age. Uh, I'm black. You're white. Like. Okay. Yeah, but we all walk around on. I, we're all the same species. Things, we're all the same none species. Of these things. Yeah. None of these things are morally substantive differences that would justify a difference in treatment between me and you. So can you identify- yeah, but we're the same species. A, I just did. We're yeah, the same species. Well, that's great. But can you identify a morally substantive difference between a human and an animal where it would be justifiable to violate an animal's rights, but it wouldn't be justifiable to violate a human's rights? Because we have a hierarchy. You're talking about the hierarchy of the scientific? It's the what same have been thing. about before. There's, there's a hierarchy. A hierarchy. Right. What do you and mean by one. hierarchy? There's well, a hierarchy there's, of- if, There's a hierarchy of humans here, animals below that. And we kill animals. We eat animals. That is the end of the argument. But what do you what not, do you mean by hierarchy? Like, it's, a, can you it's, explain the, it? it's the same. It's the same reason why you favor some scientific articles, like you were saying before. You favor some more than others because there's a hierarchy, mate. Some things come before others. Some are more dominant than others. Some, some are more important. Some are more others. important than others. And the way well, that things have panned out in humanity is that we we're on top. You're you're still not really explaining yourself. Like, do you mean because we're smarter or better but, in but some way? You know way? what? We can change our environment. I, I tend to agree that it's not a good argument that we're better. Because, I, even I, though I even though I, I think okay. it's a fine argument. Even though we are, I tend to agree it's not a great argument. Because you could say, well what? You, you, should we should we put people who are disabled? Should we you know get rid of them because they're no. not as good? I, I understand. Yeah, what that's you, kind of the route I was going to go down. So. Yeah, I, I fucking know what you're up to, you little shit. The, the <laughs> point, my point is that there is a difference between animals and human beings. Right, the, but I'm asking you to point out a morally substantive difference. Okay, so, what, what like, would you're even agreeing with me that like a mentally disabled human being, it wouldn't be justifiable to violate their rights, even because they're, they're a human being. Okay, so are you saying just because they're not human, it is therefore okay to kill them? Nailed it. I really? only I only eat autistic cows. That's what I only eat autistic. Uh, okay, cows. do you do you actually believe that? Like, if you're not human, therefore it's okay to kill you? No, but like that's what we eat, isn't it? Yeah. So that's not the reason why it's okay to kill animals. What do you mean? They have a food source. Uh, okay, They're- well, humans are a food source. Like, if you've ever been, if you've ever seen footage of civil wars in Liberia, guess what? Humans are a great food source. They taste like pig. I, I mean, how do you know? Yeah, how do you know? <laughs> I, I have heard from enough people. How do you know? You pig, taste like? pig or human? Yeah. Which one? <laughs> yeah, we know what you're up huh? to, you little bastard. <laughs> Well, like, again, I'm asking you, what is the morally substantive difference between a human and an animal where it's okay to violate an animal's rights, but it's not okay to violate a human's rights? And you've given me a few answers, but you've, you keep walking back your claims. Sorry, I'm just eating a steak. Oh. It's good. Me and Red, who cooked this? So I, 
<coughs> I know that this is an argument with a lot of vegans about saturated fat. And I thought I'm not going to compare studies because there are studies, and you know this, there are so many studies that point in the opposite direction. They just are. Uh, yeah, so just because there are studies that point in the yeah. opposite direction, that doesn't mean they have as much scientific weight behind them. So There's a hierarchy of scientific evidence. Yes. So if there's that many that are pointing in one direction and that many pointing in another, wouldn't it make sense that there is some conjecture and it's not hard scientific proof? No, it is hard scientific proof. Uh, okay. It's beyond so, any reasonable doubt. So this is the problem with arguing studies is because you there are so many that point in one direction no, and another. No, it, the it, problem it, with arguing studies is. is you have to have smart people arguing with them and the intelligence is only coming from one side in this discussion. So everyone who says that saturated fat doesn't cause heart disease yeah, they're is, wrong. Pl is uh, plain they're wrong. They're dead fucking wrong. And you're basing this on your experience as a YouTuber. No, YouTuber. I'm basing this on research <laughs> yeah. and the hierarchy of scientific evidence. Like, and you know dude, how to uh, read the American studies? American Heart Association. Yeah, so, buddy, uh, even if I didn't know how to read studies, guess what? The American Heart Association, the Scientific Advisory Committee on Nutrition, they've I know all Americans are notoriously healthy, too. So, Americans are notoriously so, yeah, healthy country. <laughs> like, guess what? The <laughs> like, guess what? The biggest uh, scientific bodies on nutrition that study these things they agree saturated fat is a risk factor for heart disease. Why is the country so, so like, cooked then? Like you didn't like it's weird how you're talking about oh well, like bringing up studies, dude. You didn't bring up studies. You found a mainstream media article. It wasn't a valid scientific source. Okay. So what I found was uh, an article that led to about twelve different. Um, peer-reviewed studies that looked in the other direction. And, okay. okay. You looked at a mainstream media article just because it links to studies or it has a bibliography. It's not a valid scientific source. So you wouldn't you wouldn't trust the mainstream on that one? No. Uh, I but you'll trust, trust the American Heart so Disease Association? I don't trust secondary sources regardless of what it is. How um, is that a secondary if source if there's a link there think, for you to I go to? we're going to end up going around in circles here. Source. Would you ever consider would. like fucking a veggie or something? Like, I reckon you get heaps more viewers if you like had sex with vegetables. Yeah, no, I'm not into that. Yeah, like vegetables are kind of hard and stuff, and yeah, yeah, that's what I'm talking seem about. Comfortable. Hit the G spot, bros. Yeah, no, it doesn't seem comfortable. Okay, is there any questions you have for me? Um, don't say moral yeah, substantive. Don't yeah. say it. Yeah, don't fucking say it. Don't. Oh, was that a smile? smile. We got him. Yeah. Yes, he smiled. <laughs> we got him. We got him. Yes. The first people to make vegan gains smile we fucking on the internet. Did it. Yeah. Yeah. I was wondering, are you gay? <laughs> I don't see a morally substantive difference between being gay and straight. Uh, but what are That's you talking about? Am I gay? That the the you, you, if, if on yeah, your partner. You made a big deal about my wife having like a tiny bit of hair on her back, like you know. <laughs> most women have that. Did you? She had a bit of a hairy back. Do you, I, like, I, I, are you I'm only sorry. Into, like boys who shave or something. No, I'm into ladies that shave. Um, but I I don't want to talk about your partner's hairy back. That is not what this podcast is about. What I wanted to know. Is did you see any benefit from me making that video? Because that video I looked today, it's got like seven hundred thousand views. Vegan booty, yeah. Ve vegan um, booty made thirty. People, yeah, a lot of people signed up to Jasmine's OnlyFans after that. Oh. I don't know exactly how much money she made, but it was a fair bit. So you didn't hate the Butterfield that night? Um, no, I still thought you were an idiot. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it was a little bit less because there was some cash coming in. Vegan Booty said yeah. she made $30,000 the night after. Um, yeah, I'm, that's pretty crazy. Isn't that insane? That's fucking awesome. So what are you, are you just jerking off on the OnlyFans or just dick pics or full? Cause yeah, I might have. It's, it's um, like uh, just full nudes showing off my chest, body, dick pics, jerking off, stuff like that. Sick. Oh, that's nice. Sick. Does that, how does, how did that make you feel? Fine. Yeah. Empowered? Not really. Um, it's fun. Uh, uh, I hear I'm chatting the noise. Move too quick, can